Sunday was a nice day, so I decided to get on the bike and ride to Wheeldon School or church. So on the way up there, I found this old house on Highway 215, South Carolina. And nobody was living there, so I had to check it out. It just seemed like a really nice, classic house. No furniture or anything inside, but it, it's hard to pass up something like this. It'll probably be even prettier once all the leaves come out. Never quite seen one like this. I guess the columns in the front reparate some of the heritage in the south. But uh, nice, nice area around there. The little throne was flying good too. Had a lot of fun with uh, DJI Mini 2. It's easy to operate and uh, as you can see it does pretty good video. I bet it'd make a good haunted house too if anybody was inclined to do it. Ah, uh, the sign for the academy. I'll let you read that. And these buildings were right behind that academy sign, so I'm assuming that was part of the dormitories. Uh, the site was there for this church, founded in 1777, so quite a lot of history here goes way back. Here I am in the Fairfield Recreational Area, uh, right along Lake Monticello. Great place to fly the drone. A few people out there picnicking and all, and uh, just a nice place to stop. Nice thing about the drone, you can get up there above the trees. That's Lake Monticello. If you look to the right, coming in on it, that's the nuclear plant on the lake. I guess this is about as close as I could get to that, unless I have some kind of uh, pass to get past there. Here comes the throne back in. I'm going to fly it over my head so I can come straight down. And I'm going to do a hand landing. Catch that thing in my hand as it comes down. Ah, not a success. The little town, the, the little mountain is right down the road. Classic old southern town. It was nice and clean. And uh, like most of these towns, they try to spruce it up a little now. It's not too far from Lexington. It was Sunday, so there wasn't a whole lot of activities. Yeah, most of these towns had railroad station and railroad tracks, and that's what make them come to life in the first place. And here we are crossing the railroad tracks in a little gazebo in town. I'm betting they'll probably have a lot of nice festivals on the 4th of July and days like that. It's looked like a grand place to have it. Yeah, a little antique store. Of course, being Sunday, it was closed, although I'm not a big antique shopper. And here is my destination, Whelan School and or Church, now Community Center. It was built in 1880, 
and back at that time, they would use churches for schools, especially in the rural areas. Because, you know, it makes sense. You, know, you didn't have a whole lot of money, and you had a place for people to, to go. So why not use a, a church? I guess it goes either way, use the church uh, or use the school for a church. Being community center now, uh, it looks at a bit of uh, disappear and a little bit of color leaving town and heading back home. Thanks for watching.